wrote Light Walk in 1986, and he wrote it for the Star Lake Music Camp at New Jersey, in America. Uh, the following year, it was played at the Royal Albert Hall. It almost didn't happen because the bandmaster of the international staff band at that time was Ray Bowes. He was a bit of a, I'm going to be careful here, stiff upper left gen English gentleman, a bit conservative. And uh, he wasn't so sure about this new style of Salvation Army music, this jazzy light walk. But word has it that the bandsmen had talked him into playing light walk at the Royal Albert Hall. Well, it was a turning point in Salvation Army music. Uh, it, uh, it has been said that the audience uh, was overwhelmed by it. It was unusual, it was different. Uh, there was a standing ovation and I've been told that people even stood on their seats and cheered. And that was the beginning of a bit of a change in, in, in what we know in the army. And that was thanks to Barry Gott and, and Lighthawk. It's become an international favourite, but the uh, basis behind Lighthawk is the message from uh, 1 John 1, 7, and Barry said this was his inspiration for writing Lighthawk, and it says, quite simply, let us walk in the light as God is in the light. And uh, this uh, piece features a flugelhorn solo by Stephen Williams. So enjoy uh, an oldie but a goodie light walk. Thank you. Thank you. 